All right, so here we have a battle between Italy and French Polynesia. Moving up to men's bantam weight, so that is 61.2 kilograms or 135 pounds. Okay, so it is Kioni Teroro Tua of French Polynesia in the red corner against Italy's Fidel Gramizia. All right, there we No touch of gloves. Both fighters taking their time. And the French Polynesia government Pouring funds into the national team this year. Let's see if that yields results. It is, of course, a relatively small country. Nice high kick there for Gramizia. Or Gramizia, sorry. Oh, look at that. French Polynesia fighter catches the kick. Will try to kick out the other leg and end up on top. And Tero Rotua really working hard to try and get the takedown here up against the cage, but the Italians takedown defense standing strong so far. Oh, just barely. A French Polynesian fighter just got just a little bit off from getting it. And there, he, oh, he tried to pull him down. Instead, ends up on the bottom. That's probably a bit of a tactical error there. Gramizia landing some solid ground and pound here. Oh, that was a nice knee to the body. I think we might see a takedown from the Italian now. Yeah, there we have it. Look at that. Toro Rotua was trying to trying to go for a sub defensive submission, but Gramizia not having it. Oh, those are some heavy strikes. Hard hammer fists there, but they are back to their feet. And another high kick. Gramizia looks like he's out for the... Oh, that is unfortunate. Inside leg kick ends up going to the crotch. And this could be actually a big advantage for French Polynesia's Kioni Terorotua. Who seemed to have a bit of an uphill battle as he, he ate some heavy ground and pound and then a head kick as he stood up. But this could give him ample time to recover. Uh, 
And it's good, but he's taking his time. Some fighters will just sort of let their pride take over and jump right back into a fight when we're not really ready for it. Warning there from the referee, although that was clearly an unintentional kick between the legs. All right, that was a good first round. Definitely an edge there for the Italian Fidel Gramizia. And back to Eric Ubelacher. What are your biggest takeaways from this first round between Italy and French Polynesia? Well, Gramiccia looks uh, very well-rounded. Uh, you saw him with stellar takedown defense, caught a kick, uh, or had his kick caught. Uh, long, long takedown defense um, from the French Polynesian fighter. Uh, Gramiccia ended up on top, landed some heavy ground and pound, and then finished off the round with some great strikes. All right, great assessment there from Eric Ubelacher. And let's see if that Italian momentum continues. But there is some definite clear-cut toughness in Teru Otua. Oh, that was a nice right hook there from Gramizia. And the Italian taking his time off the striking, not getting too taken away. Oh, that was a nice lead hook there. Lands it once again. Oh, that was a perfectly timed uppercut. But how about the toughness of Kioni Terurotua? And there Terurotua goes for a high kick of his own, but doesn't quite have the same oomph as Fidel Gramizia. Okay, Teroto ducked under that strike quite nicely, but I would have liked to see a counter once he gets back up. And I think we might see another high kick coming soon from Gramizia. All right, goes to the midsection instead. Still effective. There's a takedown attempt from Terrotua, but nicely thwarted from Gramizia. Oh, there is another uppercut. Just missed that time, though, but it is a clearly that a very strong weapon for the Italian along with his high kick and Garamizia staying patient oh there is that high kick and he throws it with such speed as well Final 10 seconds here. Oh, it looked like a solid knee there from Gramizia. And there we have it. Three rounds in the book. Tons of heart and resilience from Kioni Terurotua. But the striking display from Fidel Gramizia of Italy just was something else. Sorry, sec two rounds of the books, I mean.
All right, third and final round. All right, let's see if Teruotua can get the fight to the ground where he might have an advantage. He's definitely showing a lot of toughness. Oh, where's that high kick again from Gramizia? And the speed in the Italian's hands is something to behold. I do like the pressure, though, from Teruotua. It's obvious it is hard to throw high kicks when you're going backwards. Never a high kick there, or more sort of the midsection. And that was a pretty telegraph takedown attempt. And a bit of a mouse under the left eye of Kioni Terrotua. Nice job there from Gramizia, switching things up. Going from right high kick to lead left high kick. So some lightning quick strikes here. And look at that. Kioni Toroto abiding on almost every fake and feint thrown by the Italian. And again, Gramizia defends the takedown easily. He might want to turn up the heat a little bit in the stand-up. He's got a clear edge so far. Oh, that was a nice straight right that got through. Another nice kick there. All right, let's see. Can Kioni Terrotua get the takedown? Very nice defense there from the Italian. Oh, spinning back. Spinning back into the head. Gets through, but Terrotua is game. That was a fun, fun fight. Hats off to Terrotua. He really came to fight. He ate some heavy shots, but kept going forward. But talk about the striking of Fidel Gramizia. That was something else. The speed with which he threw some of those high kicks was truly impressive. Let's hand it back to Eric Ubelacher. What are your takeaways from this fight? Well, barring, uh, I would say, a mistake, I think uh, Gramizia took that one three rounds to nothing. I mean, he kept distance the whole time, hit him with some big shots from the outside. The right high kick and the right uppercut was very impressive the entire fight stuffed almost every takedown so i say gramitria won that one easily 3-0 no surprise there italy's fidel gramitia gets the unanimous decision victory in a very strong performance and advances one step closer to the gold living up to the height and really putting on a showcase display of striking.